Okay, so today um, we're gonna see another block under motion category. Uh, so let's drag that uh, block first. So we're gonna look at this uh, set rotation style. Okay, of the of your sprite, uh, and this particular um, uh, block falls under motion category and also of type called stack. Stack means you can uh, attach any block on the bottom and on the top of this block, right? So you can uh, attach uh, uh, one block on the top of another block, and you can make a stack. Okay, okay. Now uh, let's uh, add any sprite to your project. Okay, and uh, this one is from the library uh, Fantasy. Uh, her name is Terra. Okay, so I added this particular uh, sprite. So you can add any sprite you like. Okay, so now let's. Uh, I'm going to use a move block in order to move 100 step uh, this particular sprite. Okay, so I'm going to double click move first. Okay, now let's. Okay, because I think it's a rotation. Okay, so I'm setting this point direction to 90. So now it's going to move further. Okay, see now uh, we are not, uh, it's going off the stage. Okay. So in, in order to fix it, we saw in the last tutorial that we can use this block, right? If on the edge bounce, so now it's going to bounce, right? So now it's bouncing back, right? So when it bounces, you can see that Terra, it's not uh, rotating, right? Right, so look at this, it's going back, but she's not rotating, right? So that's where, how do you rotate your sprite uh, in a, uh, left to right okay so let's say for example okay so that's where you use this block so it says that set rotation of your sprite the style to left to right okay so now you you attach this block um, on the top or a bottom doesn't matter so let's put it on the top so you are setting the rotation style first to left to right and then you moving the steps and then if the if the sprite is touching your uh, touching the edge it's going to bounce okay so now we know that the the whenever the is touching the bound uh, sorry whenever the sprite is touching the edge is going to rotate uh, to the left okay and uh, when it's touching this uh, um, age then is going to r rotate to the right so, okay so let's try this and uh, double click this entire block okay see right away it it now it's rotate th to the left and now it's going further okay now it's rotating to the right okay so it's keep rotating to the right and rotating to the left okay so this is the uh, okay now <coughs> excuse me now if you look at the drop down you can also choose do not rotate okay so let's uh, again I'm going to point double click this point in a direction of 90 and I'm going to now double click the entire thing again right so now I this one as same as previously right because I'm saying do not rotate so by default uh, it's the sprite is not going to rotate okay so now let's go back and in the center now let's look at another the third option called all round all round so this one let let's let let's try and find out what it does first okay see it's rotating all around okay so uh, enter 360 degree okay so that's that's the difference yeah so in, so now based on your application based on your game you can choose to uh, select left or right or all around or did yeah it's uh, just depending on your application so if you are if you are creating a, a, a cartoon right where two person uh, two uh, people are talking and then you might want to do left and right right if you um, designing any other game you might choose to select all around so it depends right so this is how you can use this uh, particular uh, block 
okay so in a future tutorial we definitely we will see how do we use this in real application and um, uh, and see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching